Hello, y'all, and thank you for coming to the channel. And we're just going to be in this video for a few quick seconds, few minutes, you know, depending on how I can get it told in so many uh, minutes, okay? Not hours, but minutes. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Welcome to the channel. Okay, we're just sitting here dialoguing, just dialoguing, sitting here listening and looking and being nosy. Okay, don't they look evil like they possessed? They could have been on a trance, both of them, y'all. They could have been on a trance because it just don't make sense to the human eye. And the logic and, the logic and reasoning we use to deduce what could have happened in this scenario, okay? The Simon Gobadi, a Portia's boyfriend, she think, he thinks he knows them. <laughs> i like, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. We talking about mega mega millions simon and we still are trying to find out your net worth your net worth okay and you trying to say over there on your instagram account that it's just out of character for these two men up here well one man really fighting another man and this is what he said y'all i just can't imagine chris rock knew why Jada was bald. I have never known him to be insensitive. Will Smith was done being quiet with the jokes. Chris just happened to be there to receive the consequences on everyone's behalf. No, he ain't, he ain't received no consequences on my behalf, Simon. Because if he would have did that to me and I was a man, I would have jacked his butt up. His back would have hit that stage flow, okay? And we would have been rolling like dough on a, a board that you were trying to bake a, a pie with, okay? We would have been rolling, all right? Hitting in and everybody, tearing up the stage, whatever. But we got to be in straight mess of beer with you today because you started the mess, all right? You put that on your Instagram account like you know these people. They don't know you, Simon. You are not in their stratosphere of money making, okay? These are billionaires, honey, millionaires, zillionaires. Uh, Simon, that's not in your category, all right? Because quiet as it's kept lies, I'm going to speak it out. They say you were worth some thousands, not no millions, and definitely not no billions. So, Portia, can you get your man? Can you get your man, okay? Because he's in la-la land, or he's kind of delusional, and those cars that you're flossing, man, these people have more cars. They live that Hollywood life, and they don't have to ask how much anything costs. If they decide they want to go buy something, even property, they go do it. All right? And nothing is said. And hell, they probably can do it at home. But see, Will Smith got a problem. I think he was MK Ultra, y'all. I'm telling you, I think it was a ritual because it just don't make no sense. Because this brother called himself crying when he was accepting his award and apologizing to everyone but Chris Rock. He went out and went partying after the event at the Vanity Fair after Oscar's party. <laughs> yeah, he was out there. Uh, rapping to his own music and getting down with his one trophy. Okay, and I'm like that trophy should Not be affixed in his hand too much longer Because I got to thinking about that thing just rationalizing and just putting grown people in the shoes that they're supposed to wear and then the kids shoes that they supposed to walk in and wear and Will Smith just went all out of boundaries he crossed the threshold that he should not have done because he's teaching young boys that you could if, if they were disrespecting your uh, wife or whatever you have the right to put the paws on them now you know black children black men are getting shot down hunted and all that kind of stuff when they try to go defend honor okay here we can't even defend our houses when somebody break in and we hear they talking about cops and I have a, a, a captain who's a, a city of Atlanta captain and um, up here in Atlanta on a police force. He said, you got to damn near prove to the officer when they come on the scene that that person that was breaking in your house, they were actually breaking in your house and going to do you harm. Or you might be finding yourself sitting in that police car going out to the station trying to defend yourself. Okay. So I said, you mean tell me. 
if they come up in my house, tear my whole uh, door down. And I'm sitting up at the top of my step with my pistol. And I just go shoot because I'm going for blood. When you don't came in here, I don't know what you're going to do to me. So I'm going to take you out. I'm sure you right in the dome. Right in the dome. Okay. So he said, you might be looking at uh, a felony case then. <laughs> so I'm like, honest, hardworking citizens. We just don't have a, uh, we just don't have a, we don't have any rights. People. We don't have any rights. But what Will Smith did that night was unforgettable. Well, we can forgive him, but unforgettable. And he should be stripped. At first, I thought, well, no. You know, he worked hard for that Oscar with that movie he was playing in as Serena and Venus Williams' dad, King Richard. He did a, a good job. I ain't saw the film, but, you know, pretty much what we'll do in films, it's okay. You know, it ain't like... To me, Oscar worthy, but it just is what it is. Okay. Uh, well, except for that, I am legend. I did kind of like that one. And in one movie, I don't know if that was on Netflix or whatever, but he was playing where he was giving all his organs away when he died, and he was picking the people or choosing the people he wanted his organs to go to. That was a pretty good, decent movie as well. But uh, getting back on point, I'm telling you, both of them look like they were spaced out. Under a trance or something. That just don't look. That look evil don't it pretty much. Like they could have been possessed. And that's what the Oscars. And the awards ceremonies they have. And the music awards. All that shit's satanic. Okay. Go do your own research. I'm just telling you what I feel and what I know. Okay. But anyway. I was just getting on uh, Simon Gabardia. You know. Just you know, reading his little thing he wrote up on his Instagram account maybe ain't none of my business but I was over there I was looking trying to see what kind of commentary I can get off of him okay and I ran across that people and I'm like what in the world is Simon Gabbadia talking about now he don't want to tell us about how much he make how much he's worth don't want to go up there because if it was a situation where Portia was being joked on do you think Gabbadia would have went up there on that stage and 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 um be the sh a knight in shining armor to come to defend his uh, wife or girlfriend position. Oh, hell to the no. He might have would have had a conversation later on if he would have got that close to uh, the intended person that was offending Portia. But he wouldn't have did that. Because you know why? I know he wouldn't have did that. Our hell was breaking loose on Portia's spinoff show she had. And he didn't do anything. <laughs> he didn't do anything but try to hold her down. He didn't try to go fight Dennis. He didn't try to push Dennis. Okay. He was patting Dennis on the back saying, you know, this is a woman thing. We gonna work it out. You know, he's like that kind of uh, peacemaker or whatever. So the time you don't sit your ass down and you sit up here back and you you know Chris Rock and you know Jada Pickett and Will Smith like they they're not insensitive people <laughs> like y'all go over to his um his Instagram account and read what he put up there. He said he did not ever think that Chris would have been so insensitive. This is not like him. I'm like Simon, we don't even know how you come and go. We just go by your actions that you portray in the public. Like, we think you're arrogant, you know, by looking at these pictures. Like, I have my wealth and uh, you don't need to know. But you don't have that Hollywood life, Simon. You don't have that Hollywood life. You don't have that caliber to be up there with those people. And technically, you shouldn't want to be up there for if you're a decent man, because we hadn't found that out to be yet, so we can't de confirm or deny, we're still on that uh, waiting stance. We, we're still looking, we're peering in, we're looking, we're trying not to be so judgmental, we just look and see how you're moving and shaking, and then you'll give us a firm type of solidification of what we feel about you totally. Okay, because like I said, I saw another side when I was doing that video on uh, Portia's, you know, teacup party she threw for Pilar. You were even likable. I was, uh, the, the aesthetics were very pleasing. And that pink and gray, you grow real well. But I just said, I said, come let me come over here and talk about Simon them. Because Simon think he know Will Smith comings and goings. He think he know Chris Rock comings and goings. Because he felt they were, they were two people at the, uh, 
meeting at the wrong time. I said, these people cross each other's path all the time. What are you talking about, Simon? And definitely, they have been showcased together, him, Jada Pickett, and Will. So I'm like, what you talking about, Simon? They, you know, they go here and fro, to and fro. But you don't know nothing about them folk? That is a weird family altogether because they have no boundaries. They just live how they want to live. Jada go with her son, Jaden's friends here and there. Willow's out there being fluent and, and talking about she an emo girl and listen to all this rock hard music. You know, looking like a vampire herself. Uh, if you go look at her videos, y'all understand what I'm saying. She got that gothic look to her. And uh, you you think you know these people coming and going, Simon? Just like you don't you don't feel we know you, I, these bloggers out here, such as myself and anybody else that's talking about you, or inquiring about you. You you, you think we're not on your level, but then you think you on Chris Rock and Will Smith level? Come on now, come on, Simon. Let's get with it. And Will is just an actor, day in day out. Cause how you gonna be so upset? After you got your hands on your little ward, go up there and cry. But not one time during your speech did you say, I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. Now, the LAPD, they know all about it because somebody was dialing their numbers, okay? And they thought they were going to have to take you in, Mr. Will Smith. But come ahead, reveal. But I don't think, it, like I said, it's all ritualistic. And, you know, the big, big, big people. They make all their decisions. They said, nah, we're going to straighten it. It's an in-house thing. So now, Will has a hearing that he has to go through to see if they're going to take his award or is he's going to be spared and he's going to be thrown out the academy totally. And then if that comes, so is he going to be blackballed in the industry like they tried to do Monique or they did Monique? And the blackballing that uh, Janet Huber they played on Vib on uh, Prince of Bel Air, and they just got this shit together solid and solved last year. But she felt that Will Smith had been talking to some people and whatnot, and got her blackballed. And she damn near said she was almost homeless because of that situation. So no, Simon, these people are puppeteers for the big illumination. Okay, they're puppeteers. They're not up there, but they share. A lot of materialistic wealth okay that's all they, they, they can't make no decisions once you enter enter in the Illuminati Club it's just one of those things you be here one day gone the next day you be in your mind one day gone out your mind the next day so I don't know if you want to be comparing yourself to being in that type of a network organization if you get my drift Miss Simon Okay, but if you do, and that's the cup you want to be filled with, then go right on ahead. But then we'll really start knowing what you make, how you make it, and your comings and goings. Because you have to do certain hand signs. You have to do certain gestures. And when you get into that one zillion dollar club, you got to do some strange things for some change. So, yeah. I was just touching on Mr. Simon, thinking he know Chris Rock. And the insensitiveness that Chris had bestowed on Jada Pickett. And he think he sat at these people's table and had uh, tea and crumpets. Or a steak and, and baked potato. Or, I don't know, escargot. <laughs> uh, what do you call those ex other expensive things? Um, caviar. He think he don't sit with the aristocrats down there. I'm like, Simon, if you don't get your butt and sit it, sit it down somewhere, go on and drink your brown liquor and your cigar. Because evidently you don't lost your damn mind thinking you know these people. Okay? You don't know them. I don't know them. We know of them. That's all we know. Okay? And it just is what it is. Because I know you want to be known in celebrity ship. You want to be on there going to these Oscars and things of that nature. But you wasn't invited. You wasn't invited. You probably were trying to knock on the door. But they were like, mm -mm, they didn't let you get near the door. You had security flanking you before you could get up the driveway. You see what I'm saying? You were no-go for the Hollywood life. And it seems like by you trying to get 
Porsche and your previous wife on you know some type of reality show that would get you more into the who's who's and then big circle that you are parlaying yourself to be in no baby you don't want that life you don't want that life okay because you have to sacrifice things you have to sacrifice yourself you have to sell your soul but it just is what it is maybe that's what you want to do i'm not sure okay but yeah i'm like how's a white man gonna try to get will smith together i'm like are you serious will you should get your own self together. You should have had more self-control. You're a grown-ass man. Okay, now I hear that Will is trying to plead the insanity case. He's trying to go get therapy and all this, that, and the third. I'm like, no, you should have checked your wife. But what if Chris would have came out his side pocket with something? Okay, uh, brass knuckles, knife. I don't know what the brother could have been toting in his pocket. Or he could have had a taser and tased your ass. What you going to do then? We're gonna see him tasing you, and you jumping on the uh jumping on the stage, flapping like a fish, because he don't tase your ass too much with some high voltage. Please, we gotta stop rewarding bad behavior. Cause really, when Will Smith did that, he should have been taken down, okay, by security, locked up somewhere, and definitely not invited to no after hours party. Okay, well, he's still holding on to that Oscar, that gold Oscar. Okay, that might be gold plated because I think they actually get one, but really not that night. It's just like a replica. So it ain't like he was holding on to the real thing. That comes a couple of weeks or a month after uh, they've gotten awarded, um, you know, the Oscar award. But yeah, they don't get, I, I, I researched that. They don't give them out, mm -mm, them just replicas. Uh, what is to come because it's you know supposed to be gold and all that stuff, but it's it what it is. But uh, yeah, I just had to touch on that because I'm like, Simon, why are you compare yourself to these rich and famous people? Why are you be <laughs> that is almost laughable? I think I did laugh too, didn't I? But yeah, that's all I have for this video, guys. I just wanted to break it down. I'm trying to figure out why Simon's trying to feel he knows what's going on with these Hollywood celebrities, okay? I'm like, do you want to leave Atlanta now and go to L.A.? Portia, what you got cooking, honey? What you got cooking? Because it seems like your man want to have Hollywood life. That Hollywood life, okay? Woo! Where the streets are paved with gold. <laughs> What's that New York shit? I don't know. Okay, but anyway, y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all next video. Okay, talk to you, talk to your uh, boyfriend, uh, Portia. Talk to your boyfriend. Okay.